Hello and welcome yet again, fair intrepid viewer. I believe that means well traveled, but hey, I could be mistaken. I don't know, I say lots of things I don't really mean, or know the meaning of. But anyway, this is my reaction to the MLP movie. Uh, not my, not my reaction to the fandom of the movie that was on the last video. So just to clarify, this is my fan reaction to the MLP movie itself, uh, the trailer. So, uh, let's begin, shall we? I am excited, but I'm a little nervous too. Twilight! You'll soon know more about this place than even I do. Okay. You must be new here. My magic isn't working. My name's Kelly Sparkle and Pinkie Pie? You're officially up for the coveted princess of the fall formal crown. Where is this Twilight Sparkle? That's not a real word, right? What? What do you mean June? That's only like a month and a half. I... I... Okay, that is pretty dang close. I mean, I've never had a release of the trailer versus a release of the movie so short. I mean, like, what? A what? A yes. A what? A what? A yes. You know, it's like that. It's just, it's like, it just totally blows your mind. Uh, not only do they have the movie lined up, that you might have actually heard some detailing about, you know, and take it seriously, but when they come out with the official trailer and then the release date is like just right around the corner. I mean, like, what? I know Flash is supposed to be a bit quicker, but seriously. Not that far away. I mean, mid June, really? Wow. Anyway, uh, that's my fan reaction to uh, MLP Equestria Girls, the movie. All right. Well, I guess that's enough overacting for now and dramatization. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care, everyone. See you in the theaters, all right? Bye. You've got mail. What the, what's this? Uh, email. Information regarding movie. What? What do you mean the, the trailer soundtrack will not be in the movie? Come on! That's <sighs> Alright. Okay. 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 I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm right. I'm okay. I'm okay. <sighs> just, just like Twilight. Just breathe. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm collect. I'm cool. All right. Fine. Whatever. Let it go. So we have three for three fandoms not necessarily playing out to their best. You're probably wondering what that is. Okay. First off, the, well, over here, I believe it's the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers, or something like that, or was it 20th? It was 20th. Uh, anyway, um, some decade, some decades of Power Rangers. Well, it had to be 20th since it was in 1990. But yeah. 
the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers here. They're going to have a massive crossover thing. That's where they got the Sentai footage from. First season, nothing. So it takes place in Angel Grove. They reference Zordon. And then that's it. Like, it's an entirely its own thing. No references. No nothing. No nada. Beyond that. And some women actually could... Wondering if you're if the Power Rangers are some kind of superhero? What? Earth been invaded like a dozen times. How do you not know who the Power Rangers are? They're your exclusive superheroes. Whatever. You know, they did nine episodes instead of eleven. No cameos. Just a couple of brief little references. All in the first episode. And we don't get anything else until the fall or whatever. And there was a Doctor Who thing where they said they're going to do a, you know, have the 50th anniversary, you know, big thing. It's a big thing, 50th anniversary. It's a, it's a milestone. And they're not bringing back any of the old actors, as far as I've heard. Maybe I should dig deeper, but, uh, but the only possible reason I can think of is why they're not bringing back any of the old actors that played the Doctors that are still around, basically from 5 on, is... They're going to get dead ringers. That's the only thing I could I could think of. Apparently, they can't pull off another time crash incident. Apparently, uh, where the doctor gets older, you know, they explain that away with the time crash scenario. <sighs> so, fear right on that, and then finally, I read an article that the theme song, tra the trailer theme song, the trailer theme song that just makes you fall in love with it even more, it makes you accept it because it's going to have a rockin' soundtrack is not going to be in the movie. I really hope that's wrong. I really hope I, I misunderstood that completely. That was a different song. It's an alternate trailer. I don't know. It sounds a lot like... Uh, that guy, Pilgrim, Stunt Dogs Pilgrim guy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It sounds like one of his songs. Or if it is, I don't understand why it's not in the trailer. It's awesome. But apparently, according to that article, which I'm hoping is wrong, is that that song is not in the trailer. Okay, now to just kind of live with that. I'm still going. I am still going. I'm not going to just let that turn me down off whatever. I am still going to this. I just hope you all are too. Well, on that distressing point, I still think the movie's going to be pretty interesting. If not with a slightly one less song to its credit. I don't know, maybe they'll put it on the credits or something, I don't know. Anyway, on that distressing note, I'll say farewell for now, and see you all on the 16th, okay? Yeah. Is that final scratch?